So let us uh, understand what iterators and generators are in Python. So before we're even proceeding, let's first understand what iteration is. So what is iteration? Okay. So let's assume we have a, a sequence of numbers. So let's say we have some numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so this is a list of numbers. So iteration is basically all about navigating through each items, each and every item that is present in a sequence. So iteration is basically all about navigating through all the items which are present in our sequence. And iterators are basically the sequences which can be iterated, right? So for example, this particular list is can be called as an iterator right so list is list can also be called as iterator but um, list has additional features like uh, you know indexing slicing and uh, even built in some of the built-in functions so even tuple is also an iterator and even strings can be iterators right because there are also sequences with which you know you can write for loops on these types so that is why we can call them as iterators so let us try to you know write a for loop on list so let's define a list here by writing 1 2 3 and 4 okay so i told list is an iterator because we can loop through all the items inside the list right so I can write a for loop on list for i in lst1 I can simply write print i right so so yeah an iterator can be anything which has a minimum feature of iterating through each of its elements so if, if, if a sequence has a minimum feature of you know iterating through all the items inside it then it can be called as an iterator so yeah of course list is an iterator but along with the basic feature it has other features like you know indexing slicing and as i discussed various built-in functions which are available exclusively for the list data type so in python if you want to create an iterator okay if you want to create an iterator object which has this, this basic functionality of iterating through all of its uh, all of its uh, elements so we have a built-in function called iter so using this keyword you can generate an iterator or you can create an iterator so let's try creating an iterator object using this iter keyword so i'll say iter1 equal to so this is the name of the iterator that i am going to give so iter iter1 is equal to <clears throat> so using this keyword iter i will pass a, a list of numbers okay so i want to convert this list of numbers into an iterator object using this iter keyword so let me execute this okay and check the type of the iter1 <clears throat> Okay, so we can see that it is an iterator or, or more specifically it is a list iterator object. Okay, so now you can write a for loop on the iterator to navigate through different elements. Because as I already said, iterator has the basic feature of, you know, you can write a for loop or you can loop through all the items inside the iterator. So for i in iter1, I can write this for loop. And simply print for i in it one so I'll write print i right so but let's try to understand how this for loop so how does this for loop actually works under hood or, or how this for loop can be implemented right so let me define this iterator object again okay so there's a built-in function in python called next okay it's called as next 
so we basically what it does is it will fetch the fetch and return one element at a time from an iterator object okay so when i say the next of iter1 it is going to fetch the first element of our iterator object. What is the first element of our iterator object? It is 1. So this next of iter 1 is going to give us 1. right? So if you execute this again, what do you think will be the result? So it's going to fetch the next item which is 2, right? So it's going to give 2. So if we just repeat that, it's going to give 3. right? So what if I... Uh, let's use next function again and see what happens because we know that our iterator object has only three elements inside it so what if we try fetching the next item which which we know that it's not there so let us see what is the result that it is going to give <clears throat> so when we execute this we get this exception called as stop iteration so an exception of of type stop iteration is thrown which basically means that the iterator object is exhausted and there are no elements to fetch further okay so now let's try writing the structure of for loop by making use of this next keyword and also this exception stop iteration so we're just trying to uh, create for loop or we're just trying to understand how the for loop works under hood right so using this next and stop iteration function we can loop through all the elements in our iterator object so let me define this iterator object again so iter1 equal to iter of uh, numbers 1 2 and 3 so i'll write this while loop while true so it's going to execute continuously until um, a given condition right what is that condition the condition is that uh, it should throw an exception and then it will stop iterating so while true you try and uh, you should try printing the next item I'll say next of iter1 so we're gonna continuously keep fetching the each of the items from this iterator object and then at one point of time we know that there will be an exception thrown which is of the type stop iteration right so when this exception is thrown we will come out of the while loop and stop fetching the items okay so when we execute this <coughs> we can see the result one two three this is just same the result that we will get once we write you no know, for loop so for loop is so simple right so this is basically equivalent of for loop okay so now you must understand how elegant and and you know easy it is to use for loop on the iterable objects in python okay so that's about iterators now let's uh, understand what generators what generators are in python okay so the generators are basically uh, a type of iterator it is, it, can, it is also a type of iterator so it looks uh, just like a function so if you don't know how, how to write a function is like this is how you write a function you write function which accepts two parameter for example a and b and then it has it is having a return value i'm going to return some function i'll write some function so it's going to accept two parameters and it's going to return the sum of the two elements so this is how a function looks like what i'm trying to say is the generators also looks similar to function but uh, you know instead of having this return type you can define your uh, you know iterators or the elements that you want to have in your iterators okay so you can basically add elements into your uh, you know uh, into our list or iterators using this keyword called as yield okay so let's try creating this generator okay so i'll write def generator generator one two three okay so it doesn't have any input 
so it doesn't have any return so as i already told it has something called yield keyword using which you can add elements to this generator so i'll add one two and three so in this generator i have three values one two and three okay so i'll execute this now let's call this function and check what is the type of what uh, what is the type that's going to return so i'll simply print the type of generator 1 2 3 <clears throat> and if i execute we can see that it is of the type generator it is not a function it is a generator so now let's um, create a generator okay using this generator function or generator I'll call this and uh, when I execute this we can see that uh, a generator has been created okay so as I already told the generators are just like iterators which means that we can use the next function on the generators just like uh, iterators right so you can write next of uh, generator one what is it is going to give it is going to give the first element which is one okay and then if you use it again it will give you two use it again you get gives three and if you want to use it again it works exactly like uh, the iterators you'll get an exception stop iteration okay you can also you can write a for loop on the generator so let me define the generator again and I'll say for I in generator one I'll simply print I so this will also work on the generator so the for loop will also work on the generators okay so that that's about you know iterators and generators in in Python